moment above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my... My piloting... I wonder sometimes what they're doing on other colonies. Uh-huh. Think they're watching the same serials, following the same tossball games? Max, when was the last time you looked down your nose at me? A lifetime ago, Felix. Do you hear that? It... Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem? In the end? I'd say fairly competently. Hmm, is that so? I don't know how. The two are diametrically opposed and impossible to please. But it matters not how you fixed my problem, only that you did. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. Ugh, don't be ridiculous. We're resetting a broadcast tower, not filing taxes. There are no errands, spreadsheets, or rituals involved. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Eternal no. What is wrong with you? Who would ever design something like that? However, you're welcome to brew me a Rizzo Insta Coffee from the staff kitchen on your way back. Just step outside, flip the switch, depart forever. Understood? Good. Marvelous. We're in agreement. We're almost done. Let's finish this. Terrific. I'll be here. Waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. Have... Give my... Have... I... Be... What in the... Captain, there's a fireball in the sky. I guess it's one of the board's blockade enforcers, but don't cite me on that. 
Oh, well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hiram. Hiram, are you there? Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Ah, I see you learned nothing while dealing with these buffoons. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my void damn channel! I am more than finished with you lot. Incoming! Heads up, boss! Never had any doubt we prevail. Fight like that still gets the blood pumping now. We've got a fight on our hands. My name is Jen. I'm the chief engineer on this gunship. 
records show that our captain is a total fucking hullhead. I told him, again and again, that without fixing our regulators, spinning up the engines are going to blow through our coils and we'll go flying off in a completely random direction. Well, here we are. Thinking we'll hit soil in uh, about 30 seconds. This is your chief engineer signing off for what is probably the last time. It's a shame you can't see this metal finger I'm holding up, because I'm doing it as hard as I can. Is one healthy if they are well adjusted to a sick society? If the Iconoclasts reach that ship first, there won't be any chance for a peaceful monarch. I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet. I've sent patrols, but they're running into trouble with the Iconoclasts. They're all mad! And what's more, they left us! I don't see any way for us to work together. Nonsense! I value original thought. That's what makes MSI different, after all. Well, because the module controls the weapon systems. Can you imagine what those maniacs would do with weapons like that? They'd wreak havoc. You said that like it's a problem. The board would consider us complicit in any of their folly. That would only get us ousted again. And roll back all the progress we've made at reconciling with the rest of Halcyon. Oh, I've known their ilk long enough. Even if they merely sat on the scraps, the threat of a bunch of anarchists holding a gunship would bring the full wrath of the board down on Monarch. We can't afford that. Threaten the system's order and you call down the wrath of the universe, or in this case, the board's. Which, in this colony, is pretty much the same thing. Ah, you see our quandary, then. Lord Celia, he's being funny again. I don't think so, sir. Really? Huh? I could have sworn... Well, well, that's not important. What is important is that there's a considerable distance between us and that ship, and most of it is inhabited by marauders and raptodons. It is, and that's not saying anything about the sulfur pits, the mantisaurs, the iconoclast rebels. The... Celia, do we have any pep pills? I'm feeling lightheaded. I'm afraid you finished them going over the sales reports last week. Oh, well, I suppose you see our predicament. Because once we mount them on Stellar Bay's walls, no Marauder or Raptodon will ever be a threat to us again. Gotta hand it to you, Sanjar. That ain't a bad plan. It's absolutely foolproof. Stellar Bay will be as secure as any other settlement in Halcyon. The board's own salvage and recovery clause 32B would say differently. And they won't dare challenge us over this. Not after the data you found on their experiments here. Don't worry. We'll send an engineering team for those later. We'll have to disconnect them from the rest of the ship. Of course, they'll be useless without that targeting module, which is why it's critical that you retrieve it.
which is also why we can't let the iconoclast get them. That's surprising. The board's equipment is usually in top shape. After all, they have first access to any fresh parts or components. Agreed. This is mysterious, to say the least. You think so? I always thought scarcities on Monarch were due to our pariah status. How does it feel? How does what feel? Serving an instrument of corporate supremacy? No, oh, I wouldn't know. I've given up my days of being... The gunship. Have you secured its targeting module? Before all this, I was a writer for MSI's product catalog. It was my purpose to spread awareness of Saltuna in its various forms. The certainty with which I spun among the other cogs in their machines stifled creativity and personal growth. On that, we agree. Mount its guns to our walls or the walls of Stellar Bay. The board is coming, Captain, and these weapons will defend us from their blasphemies. Yes. My, how we've grown. From one disgruntled employee and his like-minded compatriots to the very movement you see before you. Why wouldn't they? As we speak, our message assaults their populace through their favorite entertainment mediums. Surely their retaliation will come soon. I have faith in my people, Captain. The universe does too else it would not have delivered us this opportunity. The... At last. Now we must secure the Stellar Bay landing pad. We will fortify the city against the board's assault. Those MSI stiffs won't know what hit him. I mean, they will, because it's going to be me with a tossball stick. And you, Captain. Are you prepared? No. Our hearts have long since closed to one another. He is blinded by his love for bureaucracy. Time is of the... The gun... Time is... Let us save this planet once and for all. Meet our forces in the ruins south of the city. Come prepared. Sanjar is sure to go down swinging. Huh? Oh, 
good. A fight. Like we're doing this. I got you covered. Ha! 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 Incoming. Problem is, Vic. I have many. Of which do you speak? You tell me. Ever since you and your drug ban, we ain't had any problems. You got bored. Here they come! They should have settled their differences with a tossball match. You know, Vic, you're starcher than a Spectrum potato, but you got a mean left hook, and I respect that. I've never been compared. I thought this would be easier. Sanjar's death is surprisingly heavy on my conscience after all this time. But I mustn't let that distract me from our victory. We can now take our truth to the stars, Captain, and I have you to thank for that. The boss said it best. Whatever it takes to liberate Halcyon from the board, we'll get it done. Your enthusiasm is truly refreshing, young man. And save it we shall. With every step we take forward, the board's time dwindles. For the moment, we will recuperate. Collect ourselves and our resources. 
Know if ever you find yourself in need of a favor, you may call upon your friends in Stellar Bay. Well... We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting! Aloysius Clark, Minister of Earth. Virtually every colony requires the presence of a Minister of Earth. Clark is complicit in every one of the board's crimes. Whenever the board issues some new decree, you'll find Clark's signature on the dotted line. If I had time in several blackboards, I could explain the details to you, but to put it briefly, dimethyl sulfoxide is the reason you're alive today. The chemical is absolutely essential to reviving the Hope's colonists. I need you to steal as much as you possibly can. The more, the better. If you don't bring me enough chemicals, I might not be able to save the Hope's colonists, and then nothing will stop the board from destroying this colony. Oh, I understand it must seem impossible to you. Infiltrate Byzantium, the crown jewel of the colony. Steal a batch of rare chemicals from a heavily guarded estate. In order to do the impossible, you must first divide it into a series of smaller, less impossible tasks. Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. There's something about being discontinued due to severe adverse reactions. It's fine. You'll be stealing the chemicals, not ingesting them. Of course, of course. What's on your mind? I've heard those iconic... What's...
A reminder to all crew members, there is only one We are now in orbit. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. I've done plenty of smuggling runs, but Do you mind? I'm meeting someone. Shh. No names, okay? The Phoenix is a wanted man and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. Yeah, you're looking to make contact with Minister... Uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate which is heavily guarded. I've always been fascinated by birds. If you ever research Earth species, there are thousands of them, so colorful and distinct. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators. Exactly. I started thinking about everything we see around Halcyon, and all the things we don't see. For starters, you rarely come across anyone living in Byzantium who wasn't born here even though we get ships in all the time. Doesn't that seem strange to you? And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. Sounds like my old job. I had all these bang-up ideas, you know? Like making everybody haul their own damn boxes. Never did catch on, though. That's what I mean. Everyone needs a suggestion box so they can voice their thoughts. So what if nothing changes? Sure, that part is. That's why they install shredders in those boxes after all. But one day the shredder broke. No one came to fix it. And since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. At first, management put up an out of order sign, but that just seemed to worry people. Like they were advertising something wasn't working. Why would the Golden City need suggestions for improvement? It's really so people can feel heard. Everyone's got something to complain about, you know? They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it, never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? The whole episode made me wonder, if they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, I got connected with our mutual friend and started using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really. Whoa, I'm not one of your B&E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's House of Inebriation between shifts. Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Just remember, you didn't hear it from me. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home and his guards never leave him. Someone needs to teach the white con.
Hey, you. Yeah, you. Want to be famous? Kid, you got presence. Natural magnetism, know what I mean? Tell you what, you're gonna like it a whole lot more once we start talking bits. Listen, um, you got an agent? Some kind of representation? Fresh, natural talent. I know it when I see it. Listen, you got a real special quality, raw energy. I see you in pictures, kid. I'm making a feature, Space Pirates of Moros Prime. It's gonna be a hit, but we still need a star, and I think you got the chops. Well, I have been told I have a face made for an Aetherwave drama. And pipes to match. Maybe we can get you reading some of our ad segments. So what do you say? You ready for the chance of a lifetime? Terrific! We're holding auditions at the studio. Head to Odeon Pictures and take the elevator. You're going all the way to the top, baby! It really does gleam like spit-shined gold. Just imagine busting up all these windows. And all these stores. Looking for weapons? You've come to the right place. Every Byzantine needs high-quality armaments, and you won't find better anywhere else. Why, to defend their property, of course. Byzantium is the best of what Halcyon has to offer. It's up to us to protect it. You ought to worry about protecting your eyes. What happened? Are you running with scissors? What? Oh, the eye patch is just for show. But the weapons are all real and of the highest quality. Marauders, dissidents, especially large sprats. One never knows what threat might arise. One can never be too well-armed. Who knows when the hordes may hurl themselves at our gates? Come to do I've always loved that sculpture. You with the ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. Don't speak. Hold that posture for a moment while I admire you. You have a natural contraposto, my dear. The way you rest your weight against your hip suggests a certain rugged charisma possessed only by the mighty primal and the well-traveled spacer. Splendid. I love it. Ah, oh, Celeste, you've done it again. I knew from the moment I laid eyes on you that I'd found my muse. I'm Celeste Jolicoeur, and you, my dear, are exactly what Byzantium needs. Darling, you and that brutish swagger of yours have been on my mind the moment you stepped into my studio. 
I'm working on a new line of clothing that will shock this city to its core, and I'd like your help. What do you say, my dear? Care to make history with me? When I look at you, I see the very embodiment of everything the walls of Byzantium were built to keep out. Making an outfit worthy of you won't be easy. I'll need your help gathering the right materials. Marvelous! You and I are gonna wake this city up like a cold splash of wine to the face! What I need is a survey of the outside world. What does the common laborer wear? How do the wild-eyed madmen of Monarch dress themselves? I've heard rumors, but I require samples. Also, I expect you to model for me. My dear, fashion is a performance art. An outfit without a body is like an instrument without a player. I'll need you to model for me the following. The apparel of an iconoclast, the armor of a marauder, and a full ensemble of spacer gear. Helmet included. And when I say spacer gear, I mean an outfit worn by real spacers. None of that garbage spacers choice pedals. You have the bearing and demeanor of a born model. You're going to absolutely murder this job. I expect you'll cut an exquisite figure. I've heard rumors of these iconoclasts, half-mad zealots rampaging across the surface of Monarch. You'll have to find your own way into Monarch. I can't help you. Even if I could, I prefer not to interfere with your creative process. <laughs> I don't know, I've never seen a Marauder. Not in person, anyway. There are always Aetherwade programs, but I want something authentic. Byzantium is long overdue for a change of wardrobe, my dear. Something barbaric, yet elegant. If I were an enterprising spacer in need of a wardrobe, I'd probably head to the Groundbreaker. If I were an enterprising spacer in need of a... Outside Byzantium? Of course not. There's nothing for me outside Byzantium. Byzantium has lost its élan vital. Everything about this city is so dreadfully stale. I want to make people uncomfortable the way you do. You're an outsider. You clearly don't belong in Byzantium, and yet you strut about, doing as you please. I'm not some common button monger, darling. I'm an artist. It's my job to make you uncomfortable. You're very... Well, for the good law's sake, darling, how can you expect me to dress her properly? Fetch her here so I can take her measurements and judge her aesthetic. I love Byzantium. atrocious contours. The sheer brutality of its design offends the senses and shocks the mind into a state of palpable excitement. I adore it! Two outfits remain. I can't wait to see what...
Remember that stranger I saw? You I hear monarchs jumped up. Have you tried our new cocktail sponsored by Rizzo's? One part purple spectrum vodka, one part artificial tomato like substitute juice. We call it a Blue Bloody Mary. Oh, by all means, ask away. I don't believe in work. Work is for auto mechanicals and lower classes. I don't mean to sound cruel. There's nothing wrong with working. It's just so unnecessary. Why bother? We all have our roles in society. I like to think of myself as an entrepreneur. This drinking establishment is my investment. Do you know Celeste Jolliker? I've heard she's working on some spectacular new design. Emerald Vip, nothing exciting ever happens around. The em Today's trends and tomorrow's... Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cloth. Request confirmed. Venter protocol activated. Welcome, attractive patron, to Billingsley's House of Inebriation. Studies have shown that drinking in the vicinity of extremely valuable objects, such as this auto-mechanical bartender, can enhance the quality of your intoxication. You have a rather... Hey, 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 stand back, you. I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you gotta keep five feet back at all times. Yep, you're looking at the minister's newest personal guard. <laughs> Right here. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. <laughs> He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key to the minister's estate, my own personal Eudialysis issued shotgun. <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. That's right. Not just anyone is allowed to have a key to Minister Clark's residence. It's all so very high level. That's a great idea. I'll have a Spectrum Vodka. Here's to me. <laughs> Hey, you're really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. <laughs> wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? Please allow... It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow, you've got like this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. You know, that's a very good point. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? 
Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna be sick. I just need to sit down. I hear monarchs jumped up, dissidents are running the planet now. What's this colony coming to? Out with it, you wretched con- Traption! Does nothing in this city work anymore! Citizens, today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. Alright, how does this sound? Lizzo's Lemon Slap. Slap your whole family tonight. Move along. Today's trends are to... Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I can't help you at the moment. Have a prosperous day. Carry on. I hear monarchs jumped up dissidents are running... Well, you're getting an early start on the day's parcels, aren't you? Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service. Deliveries guaranteed within standard margins of accuracy. Halcyon Parcel Service is the most dependable parcel delivery service in the colony. You might even say we're part and parcel of Halcyon's commercial enterprise. That's just a little parcel joke. Nope, just parcels. We don't deal in packages. It's very technical. Halcyon Parcel Service strictly adheres to the standards and definitions of packaging as outlined by the Executive Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. We can ship all the parcels you want. But if I start shipping packages, I could get into some real trouble. Handcuffs and hard labor trouble. I'm afraid I can't come down anymore, my good friend. Spacer's Choice Two Hour Energy Group. Watch out for that. That episode from a few weeks ago. Anti Cleo Spatial Bath. Down there. Be sure. Fresh and tingling. Machinery for two hours after application. What's gone into Bachmeyer? Hey, Vic, got a good one for you. I am certain you do, Mr. Millstone. Please proceed. Could the Grand Architect make a Borst Pocket so big even he couldn't eat it? Believe it or not, we spent many hours arguing questions as ridiculous as that in my seminary days. 
Uh-huh. Keep talking, Vic. I know when I got you beat. The Zantium Estates. Built on the backs of the working... I knew you were much for Tossball, Max. And I still find it a pleasant diversion. Well, with being a church man... Don't it take the fun out of Tossball if the winner is predetermined by the law? The only thing that takes the fun out of Tossball is the Chosen's new fool of a coach. Are we actually agreeing on something? I think we are. The Acropolis District is off limits. Move along. What in the law's name are you on about? Sure. Let me just take that off your hands. Did I say restricted area? Slip of the tongue. What I meant was, welcome to the Acropolis District. Fort's just showing off. Sorry, I shouldn't talk. Not without... Sorry, I shouldn't talk. Not without signing a waiver. Just act like we belong. Always... Most of the day-to-day -day business goes through the adjutant, Sophia Akande. She handles matters while the chairman is away. A UDL security attendant. A UDL security attendant. Stay your business. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business. If you're not clear to know, then I'm definitely not clear to tell you. Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today's greeting is brought to you by Anti-Clio, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. I'm sorry, but I've already exceeded my friendly banter quota. right there. How splendid. Another rung leech wandering through the streets of Byzantium. Why, just this morning I thought to myself, as lovely as the gardens are, what they really need is more greasy vagrants frolicking through them. And here you are, frolicking. Hmm. Admittedly. Now, if only you could gracefully take a shower, preferably in whatever hovel you came from. Honestly, what is the board thinking letting so many of your ilk into the city proper? It's madness. I earned my place here, just like everyone else. My grandfather was the CIO at Tile, you see. Chief Idea Officer. He came up with all the best ideas for their products. You know the font they use for Stogie Slims? That was him. Well, he described the idea of it to their font development team, then picked it from a list of choices, but that's basically the same thing. It was a very long list. Let's see. He picked the colors they included in Rainbow Chips. No one else wanted purple, but he insisted. Everyone loves the purple ones. And you know how the Cosmic Smokes logo has an eye in the middle of a heptagon? He said that one came to him in a dream. He was a true visionary, so far ahead of his time. I just told you, 
My grandfather made millions of bits as CIO, and I earned them from him. Of course it is. Wealth is the most visible, objective measure of success. And success isn't given to you, it's earned. My grandfather taught me that. If you have wealth, you're successful, and if you're successful, you must have earned it. Honestly, it's a simple concept. Yo, now do we have any further business? What's wrong? It erodes the very pillars of our society. Merit, decorum, personal hygiene. This city is meant for us, the system's finest. We earned its luxuries. But now we are overrun with the unworthy and the ungrateful, and this early retirement nonsense is making it even worse. The worst thing to happen to Halcyon. A contest that gives even the lowliest and most inefficient workers a chance to live in Byzantium. By simply winning a lottery, those early retirees get an exclusive district of Byzantium to themselves. No one else is even allowed to go there. Tell me, how is that fair? Oh, by the law. I mean the principle of it, not the mechanics. It's not right. I deserve to see any district I please. Why, if it weren't guarded, I'd... Hmm. You know... You look like you've been shot at before. What say I hire you to investigate this travesty, and you get paid to do so? Uh, she ain't wrong, boss. We do got a knack for getting shot at. Yes. Listen to your... Your... What is that person's job, exactly? Are they your secretary? Personal masseuse? Or do you just keep them around as a mobile armrest? Well, it doesn't matter. What's important is that you think this is a fabulous arrangement, and you'd be thrilled to lend me your services. Aren't you? Fantastic! Consider yourself employed, Vagrant. I hear the chosen retirees all enter the retirement district via the port landing pad, but it's completely locked down. You'd never get in that way. Unless, of course, you had a wealthy, beautiful benefactor of impeccable social pedigree. Which you do. How fortunate for you. These codes will get you past the lockdown. Oh, and don't worry about subtlety. I don't care how you deal with security, just correct this injustice at all costs. The same way anyone gets anything here, of course. I made friends with the right people. Bits might earn you a place in Byzantium, but that means everyone here has little need for more of them. For favors like this, you need to spend... Let's call it social capital. 